Missions to another great lesson on this Monday and this time in math. So last week when you did your check-ins with me and were showing me your awesome math skills, that was the end. We finished our module of math focusing on place value. So we finished our last unit of study with place value and we're going to start a brand new unit focusing on our next big awesome skill next week. So we're going to use this week to really focus on a skill that you're going to use throughout your entire math life, your entire career. And that are math facts. Math facts are simple addition and subtraction equations that we want to be able to answer right away and super quickly. So we're going to spend this whole week just focusing on one kind of math fact to see how quick and awesome we can solve them as we use them throughout our lives. So let's check out our learning target for Monday and see what section of math facts we're focusing on this week. Okay, second grade, our job today is I can identify doubles facts automatically. That's a big word. But let's check out doubles facts. We're going to be focusing on our doubles facts this week. That's when we take two of the same number and we add them together. So today we're going to be really working on just those doubles facts. And throughout the week, we're going to take this knowledge, what we know about our doubles facts, and use it to grow and create new knowledge throughout the week. We're going to see how our doubles facts can help us solve even more math facts and grow and grow our mathematician brains. So we're going to take that old knowledge, doubles facts, and help create new knowledge and solve new problems with it, connecting all our awesome math skills. But first we have to get automatic, be able to solve our doubles facts automatically. Can you say that with me? Automatically. One more time. Automatically. Automatically. Like I mentioned before, we want to be able to solve any math facts quickly and right away, which is the definition of automatically. We want to be able to answer and solve all doubles facts, adding any two numbers together right away, super quickly, automatically, as soon as we see them. That's our goal today and what we're going to work up to. We are going to make our own little study guide, like a little cheat sheet to help us use to study and learn and get automatic at all our doubles facts. To make our little study guide, you are going to now get out a blank piece of paper. Just like we've used for religion before, get out a nice blank piece of paper and some coloring supplies, either crayons or thin markers. As we make our double fact study sheet, I need you to get out a blank piece of paper and some coloring supplies and be ready right now. Okay, Super Scholars, don't mind what's behind me on the board. We'll look at it in just a second, but we need to get our study guide ready. So we're going to fold it and make those eight sections just like we did for religion last week. So I need you to hold up your piece of paper, just like me, where it's long on the top. And I need you to fold it in half. Fold it in half, just like when you're holding it. Fold it right in half, just like we did before. Just like half. And then I need you to fold it in half again. This time go down, fold it in half again. Now it's getting smaller. So you had yours like this and you folded it down. Awesome, and one last time, 
Now fold it in half like a little book. Fold it in half one last time. So it looks nice and small. So you got it like this, and you fold it in half again. Awesome. If you need to finish folding, totally can pause. But this is our finished product. Can you open it back up? Awesome, we have our eight sections again. Eight sections, just like we did for religion. Okay, super scholars, we are going to use this grip as our study guide for our awesome doubles facts. Like you might see on the board, we're gonna be looking at different pictures to help us visualize what two numbers are being added together and how much they make. So in this first box right here, in this first box, I just need you to write my doubles facts. So I'll write that on the board for you. I just want you to write in that first box, my doubles facts. Just in that very first box, I'm gonna go ahead and do it too with you. I'm just writing my doubles There we go. Just in our first box. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause me and finish the part of your study guide that we're on. But right now, just my doubles facts. Okay, we're gonna move on to our next box. And as you can see behind me, we're of course starting with one plus one. So super scholars, Thinking of one plus one, you can think of your awesome face. So you've got one eyeball plus another eyeball. You have two eyeballs on your face. So to help us think about our first math fact, one plus one, we are gonna draw two eyeballs on our page. So in that first box, I just need you to write our math fact. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And just real quick sketch, just like religion, super quick. Can you draw two eyeballs? Here we go. One eyeball plus another equals two eyeballs. Awesome. I'm coloring it in. Good job. Mine looks like a very, very quick sketch, but I drew glasses on mine as well. One plus one equals two all together. Good job. Okay, next one, super quick. Our next doubles fact, two plus two. We know it equals four. We can think about it like as a dog. It has two front legs and two back legs. All together, this dog has how many legs? Four legs. Two plus two equals four. Let's go ahead. Can you draw and write that on your next square? Two plus two equals four. Can you go ahead and do that? Remember, such a quick sketch, so quick. Like a rack of soda cans. 
you pick one up from the store, you notice that there's a row of three and another row of three soda cans. So all together, there are six soda cans. So can you say it with me? Three plus three equals six. Good job. Can we go ahead and draw that on our next box? Three plus three equals six. Here we go. So I'm just going to draw the top of the soda cans so I can do it as quick as possible. Remember, if you want more time, just pause. But I have my super, super quick drawing. I have one row of three and another row of three. And all together, that's six soda cans. Super, super, super quick. Okay, what's our next double stash? We've got four plus four. We can think about it like a little spider. With a spider, they have four legs on the left of their body and four legs on the right of their body. All together, they have how many legs? Eight legs. We've got four plus four equals eight. So let's go ahead and draw that. Right in our next box, four plus four. Awesome, here we go. quickest drawing yet. We've got four plus four equals eight. Four legs plus four legs equals eight legs. Good job. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four. What's our next double fact? Awesome, five plus five. So we can think about it as our awesome hands that we have. You have five fingers on one hand, five fingers on the other. Together, we all have 10 fingers. Five plus five equals 10. Go ahead, can you draw two hands on the next face? Five plus five. Let's see. Equals 10. I've got two hands, five fingers plus five fingers equals ten fingers all together. Five plus five. But before we move on, let's give ourselves an awesome break today. So come on, stand up with these super scholars and let's do our next this or that. Okay, so would you rather be a pilot in a plane? So be in charge of flying a plane? If so, you're gonna do just that. Or would you rather be the captain of a ship? So be in charge of steering a ship. If so, you're gonna swim like a fish. What would you rather do? Pilot a plane, captain a ship. What do you think? I think I would rather fly a plane, so I'm going to do just that for five seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Thanks for moving with me. Okay, let's get back to it. Good job, okay? Next box. What's our next box? We've got six plus six. And we can think about this double fact in a supermarket. If you go and grab a carton of eggs off the shelf, 
they're going to be in two lovely rows. A back row of six and a front row of six. So all together, how many eggs are in a carton? There are 12 eggs in a carton, of course. Six plus six equals 12. So go ahead, can we draw that? Six plus six on our next one. Here we go. Let's see. Making my drawings as quick as possible. I just drew a little box. And I have one row of six, a second row of six. So all together, I drew 12 eggs. Good job. Okay, next box. We're on to our seven doubles back, which is, and we can think about it as a calendar, our days of the week. In seven plus seven, from Sunday, to Saturday, there are seven days in our week. So if we look at one week, seven days, plus another week, another seven days, all together in two weeks, how many days are there? There are 14 days. Seven plus seven equals 14 days. So let's go ahead. Can you draw a super quick calendar to show seven plus seven? Here we go. Let's see. two weeks, I've got one row of seven and another row of seven to equal 14 days. And I just quickly label, look, I've got Mon or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So to show that calendar, I just had two weeks and I labeled each day. Awesome, look at this great study guide so far for almost all our doubles back. Are you ready for the last two? Can you flip it over? We're going to finish our last two doubles facts on the back, which is totally okay. So let's check out what is our next double fact, Super Scholars. We've got eight plus eight. And we can think about it with silly little octopus. On an octopus, it has eight legs. So if we take one octopus with eight, and we add it to another octopus with eight legs, how many legs are there in total? 16 legs. Two octopus with eight legs each makes 16 legs. Let's go ahead. On the back, can you draw and show eight plus eight? Let's see. Draw little octopuses. Mine look more like spiders, but we get the idea. Okay. So, my octopus, they have very little detail. But I made sure to draw eight legs on each, and I have the little dots for the little tentacles. So one octopus plus another, eight legs plus eight legs equals 16 legs. Good, good job. Okay, final drawing, final part of our study guide. Our last fact, of course, is nine plus nine. And we can think about it with tic-tac-toe boxes. Whenever you play tic-tac-toe,
toe, you make a group of nine boxes. So one game of tic-tac-toe, nine, plus another game of tic-tac-toe, nine. Nine plus nine equals how many boxes? Eighteen boxes in total. Nine plus nine equals eighteen. So let's go ahead. Our very, very last box. Can you draw eight or nine plus nine on your study guide? Here we go. Nine plus nine. Awesome. Super duper quick. I have one game of tic-tac-toe. All X's in a row. A second game of tic-tac-toe, O's in a row. So nine plus nine equals 18. There we go. I know that was a little fast, but this is just a quick study guide to help us practice and learn all our awesome doubles back. You can go ahead and add color later, but I just wanted to make this really quickly so we all can have a tool as we're practicing our doubles facts today. Okay, super scholars. So taking this awesome knowledge, can we see how automatic and quick we can already name our doubles facts? Okay, super scholars, this is your first math fact challenge of the week. Double facts to the max. You are gonna look at all these double facts and see how many of them you can get correct each time you practice. So you see that there are three different counts at the bottom. You are going to do this fact sheet three different times. You're gonna go as quickly as you can answering each doubles fact. You can use your study guide or the awesome knowledge that's already in your brain. When you test yourself once, you're gonna count up using your study guide to see how many did I get correct. So after you've completed, maybe I got 10 correct the first time. After I checked with my study guide, I got 10 correct. Then you're going to erase the entire sheet. You're gonna erase it and try for a second time seeing if you can beat your score a second time. So as you go through the facts again, you might catch some of your mistakes. And this time I got 13 correct. So I beat my score, I got better, 13. Then you're gonna erase all your work another time, erase, erase. So you can go for your third and final attempt to get all of them correct. So as I went again, and was seeing how automatic I could solve these problems, by the third time, I was able to get, oh, there it is, 15, all 15 correct. So it's gonna be your challenge, Super Scholars, to do this sheet three times, erasing it each time, and trying to beat your own score. It's okay if you make mistakes and it takes a couple tries, but your job is to just continue improving, get better by the end of your third time. So when you turn it in, I want to see your answers from this third time. So leave up how you did on this third time so I can see your problem solving skills at the end. And make sure you keep track and let me know how you did each time. I'm super excited to see. Okay, super scholars, let's go get started on our first math fact challenge of the week, and I can't wait to see what you got. 